Hi, I'm Sam Figley and I teach a study abroad course called Brazilian Agriculture and Food Production Systems in the Soil and Crop Sciences Department, which is in the College of Agriculture and Life Sciences at Texas A&M University. The Agriculture of Brazil Study Abroad class is an adventure across the central part of Brazil, starting in Manaus on the Rio Negre that flows into the Amazon to Brasilia, the capital of Brazil, to Sao Paulo, to Foz de Iguaçu, to Rio de Janeiro in 17 days. You will spend one night in the Amazon rainforest near Manaus and learn about research being conducted on the rainforest and natural vegetation used in making medicines. In one of the largest farming and ranching areas of the world, the Cerrado area of Brazil, which was considered a wasteland 30 years ago, you will see very large farms. Near Foz do Iguaçu, you will see small farming areas and a farmer's cooperative. You will tour and learn about Iguaçu Falls, the largest of its kind. Itapu Hydroelectric Power Plant, the largest hydroelectric plant in the world. Statue of the Christ, Sugarloaf Mountain, and the Botanical Gardens of Rio, the largest rainforest within a city of the world. Students will be able to compare native Brazilian culture to European and American immigrant cultures. This is really a life-changing experience that will illustrate the need to think globally. Many students have not had the opportunity to travel out of the United States, and many not even out of the state of Texas. The study abroad programs give them the opportunity to see the world in a cost-effective way. Because of what we read in newspapers and magazines, most people think that most of the Brazilian rainforest has been clear-cut and crops and cattle are now occupying the land. Most people think that Brazil is a third world country. In a short 17 days, students will see and spend the night in the rainforest and learn about the research being conducted in the rainforest. Float a small portion of the Amazon River, a river that does not have a single bridge across it. See and learn that, the, that Brazil is the number one producer of frozen orange juice, is self-sufficient in energy production, that they fluctuate between one and two with the U.S. in soybean production, that they have the largest hydroelectric plant in the world, which supplies 95% of the electricity to Paraguay and 25% to Brazil, and that the world's largest, second largest floral auction is in Brazil. Does this sound like a third world country to you? No way. Brazil is an emerging first world nation. We learned that this is a global market that revolves around many nations and not just the U.S. We gain more appreciation for the U.S and for the rest of the world. The neatest thing about the trip was the fact that I got to learn about other cultures and how they do agriculture. And it's a lot different than how they do agriculture in the United States. I gained uh, a lot of really good friends through this trip, uh, both graduate and undergraduate students, uh, people that I would never meet. It's all inclusive, and if you need some help, this department has plenty of scholarships available to help you pay for it. I hope you will consider taking Agro 420 Brazilian Agriculture and Food Production Systems. It is a study abroad class that will reframe your vision of the world and help you to think culturally about the importance of agriculture.